Hello everyone, Rich here, back for part 4 of this RMS Fremantle tutorial. Uh, today's focus is the ship's funnels, foc'sle, masts, uh, and anything else I can think of along the way. So, uh, yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to go to the uh, first deck house behind the ship's wheelhouse. So the wheelhouse is up here, that one there. We're going to go to the first deck house behind that, which is this thing here. And what I'm going to do, we're going to put the funnel bases in first, just to get them all lined up. And then we can uh, build the funnels upwards. So we're going to go to the uh, front of the uh, first deck house, and on the on the wood we're going to count back to the fourth block. So fourth block on the wood. So one, two, three, four. And on there in red we're going to build our funnel. So you're going to want three wide on the front like that. So that's on the centre. So the centre block there, and then one either side. So three wide. And then out to the side you want two, and then back two, and then back three. One, two, three. And then back curving inwards again, we want three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, and one, like that. And then the same the other side, out two, back two, back three, one, two, three, and then three, one, two, three, and two. There we go, there's the diameter, or the circumference, whatever you want to call it, of the funnel, first funnel anyway. And uh, that's uh, where that one should go. So what we want to do then is from the back of that first funnel, so basically from this first wood block here, <coughs> pardon me, got a bit of wind there, uh, from this first funnel you're going to want to count back to the 31st block back, so it's basically a 30 block gap. So there's the first block there, and you're going to, want to count back basically onto the front of the uh, second deck house. So that's 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and then on the 31st block we do the same again. So it's on the top of the second deck house basically. So I put our first row in like that, and it's the same design, so it's three wide, two out, two back, three, and then three, and then two, and one. Same the other side, out two, back two, back three, back three, two, and there we go. So there's funnel number two placement done there. And then the same again, you want to go back from the back of this funnel and leave another, th or count to the 31st block back again. So basically go over to the second deck house, or count back basically. So 24, which should be on the top, on the front of this first, uh, third deck house. It's 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And on the 31st block again, funnel number three so it's th three wide two out two back one two three and then one two three and then two one same the other side out two back two back three back three two and there we go so there's funnel number three in place and there's our placements like so and it don't look too bad so that's our little job done there so what we want to do now is go back to the first funnel or any funnel really because they're all the same design but I'm going to focus on one funnel and then we can I can just copy to the other two so uh, what we want to do now is go from the center of the first funnel and the red is going to be built up in three sections it's going to go up in eight so on the center build up eight one two three four five six seven eight and then nine behind that one two three four five six seven eight nine and then four one two three four and then in black we want five so one two three four five there we go so that's the uh, color code we're going for and as this is a custom ship, you can sort of do your own design with the funnels, really. But if you want to follow this, then by all means. So what we want to do is copy that same design, that same eight, nine, nine up. On we want to copy that same design onto this block, that block, and that block there, and then the same on the back, that block, that block, and across the back, like so. So you do that same design all the way around. So I'll just copy, or well not copy it, but I'll uh, do the next couple of rows, and then I can just use the uh, one that it do speed the process up a little bit that's the only reason I'm using welded of course it is cheating but it does save a lot of time and these small ships there's not really that big of an issue so that's the first few bits done I do this next row here go away so there we are there's the first half of the funnel done so I just do the other half as well so it's the same design again so oh. Carry on going up in the world, and then back down again. Start again. I'm only doing one half as well, so I'll do the other half in a moment. Just give you an idea on how it should look, and then across the back like so. And then lastly the centre point.
and then there we go so that's half the funnel done you can see all the all the struts are in place and you should have a design that looks kind of like that there's no slant to the black and red yet just as long as we get the funnel leaning that's what we want at the moment so what you want to do now go on the inside and just start filling in all the gaps similar to what we've done with the hull of the ship just start filling in all the govins down here And it shouldn't take too long. I mean, it's, I'll say it's a fairly simple design. It's probably a, a, a grade one ship if you want, in terms of, or grade two rather. I suppose I imagine the uh, Nomadic is probably a grade one, in terms of uh, build skill. And there we go. So there's the first half of the funnel all filled in. And it should, in theory, look something like that. No, don't look too bad, do it? All right, now for the slant. Of the uh, the black and the red, so we'll go to the top and look at the, look at the funnel side on. And if we look at the funnel side on, this will be the first block here. So this block number one, you're going to leave these first four blocks. So count back to number five, basically. So one, two, three, four, and then f on the fifth block, just remove the top line of the next five, oh, plus the middle there as well. So you have the top of the funnel slanting slightly. And then what you want to do there is go down to the next, go down to the bottom of the black. And do the same sort of thing again. So go back one, two, three, four, and on the fifth block, you remove the red underneath and replace it with black. So one, two, three, four, five, plus the center. And there we go. There's our slant. So that is pretty much what we need to do uh, with the slant. So that's a little job done there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly copy this to the other side using weld edit. So I'm going to put a white block there as my copy point. And then I'll get the other side out of the way, then we can add the other details, so bear with me a second. So just stand here, we do uh, copy, flip to the right, Oop. and then we paste. Like I say, and apologies for the noise outside, I've got all the windows open, uh, and there's quite a lot of traffic outside, which is kind of surprising, but anyway. Um, so there we are, there's the funnel done on both sides, and it should look something like that. Marvellous. Right, so what we want to do now, on the top, or inside of the top, go into the inside the funnel, down from the top, one block, and just add some bars across the top of the funnel, like so. Just basically three bars like that. One, uh, one up there, and two, one block down. And it should look something like that. So it's the grills at the top. And then for the front of the mast, uh, front of the funnel, sorry, we're going to add a ladder. So we're going to add grey blocks going up the front of the red until it gets to the top of the red. So basically just add grey like so until you get to the top of the red and then repl and then uh, add the ladder to the front of that. So I'll add the ladder now. And there we go. That's that little job done there. And for the first funnel really, this is the only job, this is for the only, only for the first funnel basically. We have two black blocks either side of the top of the ladder. And then we'll get a cobblestone wall, wherever it is, that one. And we'll put one there and one there, just to represent the whistles. Or, remove those two and put them just above the ladder, like so, for a single whistle. It's up to you how you want to do this, or if you want to be really awkward, have three chimes. <laughs> and it's up to you what you want to do. I mean, it's, it's entirely your design, or well, my design, your ship. You can make as many changes to it as much as you want. And... Uh, yeah, don't look too bad. So that's the first funnel done. The other two funnels are exactly the same, minus the whistle. So basically what we want to do now is just go on and do the same thing with those. And uh, everything should look fine. So what I'm going to do, I'll do a jump cut while I work out, well, while I fill in those other two funnels. And then we can uh, move on to something else. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So there's the funnels in place and the ship should look something like that. A bit like the prototype, but minus a bit of detail. And it don't look too bad. You know, you can uh, modify the funnels if you want to, and uh, sort of make it look a bit more Cunardy, but it's up to you. Um, I've also added the doors and windows to the uh, deck houses below as well, so we've got doors and windows all around these things as well, so the detailing is a bit better. But uh, overall, the ship should look a bit like that. So there's the three funnels. So what we want to do now <laughs> is either side of each funnel, so basically on these flanges, you've got a flange either side of the first funnel, so these flanges on the deck house there, and one on the deck house on the second funnel. You're going to want to add uh, vents. So what we're going to do is on this flange here, we're going to have a centre block on the centre block of the flange. So it should look something like that. Put your centre block on there like that, in the middle of the flange. 
and then build a cross like so. So you got a cross like that, and then build the base of this flat of this vent up four. So two, three, four there, two, three, four there, two, three, four there, plus two in the middle like that, and then with our white stairs, our quartz stairs, whichever, uh, we can build the vent upwards. So the vent has stairs like that, and then on the front we build forwards one, two, one, two. One, two, and then the front of the cross build up one, two, three, and one forward, and then add the stairs top, middle, and bottom, like so. And there we go, that's our vent, like so, similar to what Mauritania had, but uh, probably a bit smaller. But there you go, there's the first vent. Now you want to do the same on the other side. So, on the other side of the funnel, you do the same thing on that flange. So, you add the cross, then build the vent upwards. And so what we're going to do, I'll leave the other side and I'll go to the uh, go to funnel number two. And on this flange here, you've got a bit more a bit more space here so we can uh, work a bit more. So we'll start a bit further, well, probably in the same place, but uh, you can go to the middle if you want because you've got more space, like I say. And just do the same thing again. So build the base and then up one, uh, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, plus two in the middle. Stairs, 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 and stairs on top. Two forward, two forward, two forward, and then the front up, one, two, three, and one forward. And then stairs, 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 stairs. There we go. So that's vent number two. And as before, you do the same on the other side, the other side of the funnel. And it shouldn't look too bad. And then you move on to funnel number three. And you should have to put this one sort of right in the front corner, really, because you ain't got a lot of space around the side. So just put the uh, the the, uh, the vent in the front corner of the deck house there like so and as before build up two three four two three four two three four and then two in the middle and then stairs 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 and on the front two forward two forward two forward front up one two three and one forward stairs 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 Stairs, 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 stairs. There we go. That's the uh, third vent done. And it shouldn't look too bad like that. So you do the same on the other side of the funnels. You know, get those three vents out of the way. And uh, it shouldn't look too bad. So that's that job done there. So what we're going to do now, we're going to add some other vents which go on the uh, raised deck below. So we'll go back to the first vent, or the first deck house where the vent is. So there's the first vent on the first deck house. And you're going to go from this back corner of the flange. So this is funnel number one. You've got this flange out the side. And what you're going to do, you're going to count back from the corner uh, 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 1 in. And then we build 1, 2, 3. Well, build the cross basically. And there's your first vent there. So I build this vent up. So 2, 3, 4. 2, 3, 4. 2, 3, 4. And 1, 2. Then stairs, 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 stairs. Two forward, two forward, two forward, one, two, three up, and one forward. Stairs, 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 stairs. There we go. So that's the first vent there. That goes just uh, behind the first deck house. So what you want to do then is uh, count back. There's going to be four of these split roughly by the same distance. So that's the first one. And then after that, behind the first vent, you're going to count back. I think it's 14, so that's the first block. I'll count it, well, I'll try to do it freehand. That's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So on the 15th block back, so it's a 14 block gap, but on the 15th block back, build the next vent. So I'll just put the base in place. So there's our first, there's our second vent where it will go there. And then what we do is do the same thing again. So first block there, and then count back to the 15th. So that's 12, 13, 14, 15. And then do the same again, but as this is quite close to the deck house, you may want to spread it out a bit more. So it's 15 blocks, so I'll make it a 17, 16, 17, 18, 19. Make it on the 19th block this time, and we'll do the same again. So it just gives you space from the deck house again. Okay? Uh, so that's where the third vent will go. And then the fourth one, I think we could probably make this 14 blocks. So the first block there, and it's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There we go, the fourth one can go there. Or we can make it back a couple more closer to the deck house, it's up to you. So make it, uh, we'll make it 16 blocks and then we'll do the same again. So three, and then there's the third vent there, like so, or the fourth vent, sorry. 
and it should look something like that and then for the last event uh, I think we want, kind of want the same again so uh, for, that's one block there we'll count back 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 uh, we've got to go a bit further so 15, 16, 17, 18 yeah, say 18 blocks, or we can make it a bit further, but I'll go 18, that would do. And I'll put our fourth, uh, fifth vent there, like so. So, like I said, they're randomly spread out, but I'm just sort of spreading them out so they're not in, in or interfering with the deck houses. So, they're not evenly spread, but they're sort of spread nonetheless. So, there's the bases done. So, what you want to do is just build the vents up the same height as the rest. So, four up for the base. So, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, and one, two. I do this first one and then we just copy them because I'm getting bored of building these already. So two forward, two forward, two forward, one, two, three up, one forward. Stairs, 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 damn it, stairs, stairs, and stairs. There we go. So that's that vent there. And then you just do the same with all the other vents. I'm going to use Wild Dead because I'm bored, like I say. Uh, so I shall copy from that down to there. And I shall copy from there. So we do copy. So I'm going to copy each vent and just paste them in place. It saves me having to faff around paste, uh, building them. So I'll paste that one there. That's fine. That's number three. Number four will be here. And that was my phone ringing again. Apologies there. Oh, well, not ringing, but vibrating. Uh, what was I? That's number four there. So number five is this last one here. And we just paste it into there. There. There we are. So that's all. <clears throat> all five done there so that's uh, five plus three that's eight so I want to do the same the other side of course <coughs> excuse me and then everything should, should be fine we'll have a look at what we've done anyway and what I've done so you got this five yeah it's eight vents isn't it, it says five plus three yeah it's not too bad and uh, yeah so that's that little job done there so it, it sort of bulks out the detailing of the ship and those vents do look pretty good in my opinion. I don't know who came up with a design. I think I sort of took someone's design and modified it, I think, because uh, I originally used these on the Mauritania a couple of years ago, and they look pretty good, but slightly bigger. Um, but yeah, that's those vents there. So what I'm going to do, like I said, what I'm going to do, quickly copy them to the other side, because of course we've got to do the, do the same on the other side. There's a lot of faffing around, I know, but uh, that's how things are. But um, like I said, I'll just quickly copy these over, and uh, hopefully everything will be fine. So just copy to that point there. We do copy, flip and then paste and there we go there's the vents on the other side so that's 16 vents in total and it sort of bulks out the detailing. It was pretty good. Compared to the uh, prototype there's not a lot of difference it's just the lifeboats I think mainly. Um, so yeah that's uh, that little job done there. So what we can do now is uh, stretch our heads a minute uh, a little bit more detail we can add. I suppose you know with the uh, we see the uh, raised deck here. What we can do, sort of halfway along, or roughly, sort of every th quarter of the way along, we can remove two blocks, and then replace that with wood stairs, just for access. So a pair of stairs there, and then a bit further along, we add another pair of stairs there, and then along the back, probably put another pair of stairs. Like so. so, a pair of stairs there, and then do the same the other side. A pair of stairs on the back there, and then up the other side. Put our stairs there and there. And then the last pair. About there and... Damn it, there and there. And replace that. There we go. So that's our stairs there. Just, just add, add a, bit, a bit more access to the... Uh, the deck itself and I don't think like I said I don't think there's any more detail to go on the uh, uh, the main uh, deck apart from the lifeboats there's not much else to go on so what we could do now we can add the handrails to the uh, the raised deck uh, around where these funnels are so we'll start around the around the ship's wheelhouse so I'll put our handrails around that little square there because like I'm gonna say no real purpose for it and then from the back of the wheelhouse we'll just add the line of uh, handrails Along the side of the race deck. Don't worry about the edge of the uh, the boat deck yet, because we've got to put the lifeboats in first. But get the detailing on the race deck done first, and then everything should be hunky diddly dory in a modest sort of sense. Let's get this little job done, <laughs> and then up the other side.
and I do apologise again for the sound. It's a bit crackly, I know, and a bit lower than usual as well. I'm still trying to work out the sound levels for, uh, well, trying to find out all the sound settings for Windows 10, because uh, Windows 7, everything was sort of uh, self-explanatory and uh, fairly easy to find, and Windows 10, I'm still getting used to it, so uh, apologies for the uh, dodgy sound. But uh, overall, everything should be okay. So just get these handrails in there. So there we are, there's those done there. And then handrails around that little square again on the uh, ship's wheelhouse. And there we go, and there's that bit of detailing done. So what I'm going to do now, admire what we have here. And look at the prototype. And then what we're going to do now, I'm going to do a quick jump cut while I work out what to do next. And then we can move on. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So what we're going to do now is work on the well deck and the forecastle deck. So what we're going to do is start on the well deck first. Uh, we're going to go to the front wall of the superstructure, which is under the under the ship's wheelhouse. So the wheelhouse is up there, and the front of the uh, superstructure is here. And what we're going to do, go to the very far corners out to the outside. And what we're going to do is count to the tenth block in. So from the corner, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to add some stairs. So we we'll remove four white blocks like so like that and then we'll get our wood stairs and we're going to build down to the deck below so down put a few white blocks underneath and down like so so there we are there's our stairs going down and then with the banisters you just go two up two up two up like that and two up two up two up like that so there's that oh, is that right yeah that's fine so there's our first staircase so just add another support underneath there like that and there we go there's our first staircase and we do the same the other side so tenth in from the side so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten remove two four blocks like that replace with stairs going down like so like that's so your staircases there and then Bannisters, two up, two up, two up, like that. Two up, two up, two up, like that. Two up, like that. There we go. There's our uh, thingy my what's it's like that. So that's our uh, stairs done. Now, what we want to do now is to add the cranes. There's two cranes that go on each side. So we'll go from the. Uh, I'll work on the left side staircase first. So this is the left side staircase facing forward. And from the banister facing the. Well, closest to the outside of the ship, we're going to add. One block diagonally out, we're going to build a line of five like that. So it's a line of five there. So it's directly connected to the bottom of the banister like that. So it's five, a line of five out like that. And then in front of that, you want three and then one. Behind that, you want th three and one. So you've got a design that looks something like that. A pixelated circle, basically. And then what we want to do is increase that to two high all the way around. Like so, and it should look something like that. And then for the crane body, because this is the crane base, the crane body is uh, six up, so uh, from each side, so two in, second block in from the side, build up six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Same the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then uh, a line to connect the top, and then a line across the back, like so. And then every other block add two blocks like so so you've got a design that looks something like that kind of like a ladder or an elevated a if you like and there you go there's your crane body and then for the crane arm you're going to need uh quartz slabs for this one and for the, for the arm you're going to want to go to the second block up on each pillar so there's the bottom block go to the second block up and we're going to build forward with the slabs four on each side so one two three four there and one two three four that side and then one up you're going to go five one two three four five and then one two three four five and then one up again one two three four five and the other side one two three four five and then join them together across the center like that and then from the center you're going to want to build a line of four one two three four and then four again one two three four and there we go there's the crane arm looking like that and then like the crane body every second block you just add a slab across create the structure and make it look more realistic so there you go there's the first crane like that and that doesn't look too bad though. it's quite a quite a beefy crane for what yeah for for the size of the ship but that's the first crane there you're going to do the same the other side now i might as well do this so from the bottom of the banisters we want a row of five and then three and one and then on the back three and one and then double that in height 
like so. And then the crane body up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And join them together across the top, plus a line across the back. And then every other block down like so for the crane body. And then for the arm, it was second block up. Fives, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, no, was it fives? No, it's four, sorry, four, four, four first. So four that side, four that side, and then the fives. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Join them together across the front. And then four, one, two, three, four, and four. One, two, three, four, like that. And there we go, there's our crane. And add the beef supports along like so. And there we go, there's our other crane. And that don't look too bad. As I say, it's, it adds a bit more bulk to the, the ship. I mean, it's only a small ship, but the cranes, they're beefy. Right, so now what we're going to do now, go back to the front wall of the superstructure. Go back to the basically the center front of the wall. And we're going to build a cargo hatch. So from the cargo hatch, we're going to go to the fifth block forward. Or is it a, it's a sixth block forward, sorry. So from the center block, count six forward. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to build a cargo hatch, which is seven wide so that's a center block plus three either side the sides are eight one two three four five six seven eight and one two three four five six seven eight and then across the front like so and then the center three rows you build two blocks high like so or an extra block high like that so basically three lines of blocks across the middle like so and then either side of that you want lines of slabs like so, so there's your half your cargo hatch done, and then the other side you do the slabs as well. And there you go, there's that cargo hatch done. Brilliant. So I think that's all the detail done for the for the well deck, apart from a set of stairs. So, <laughs> sorry, got hair. Uh, so we'll go, back, go to the uh, back end of the forecastle now. So the well deck is done. We'll go to the forecastle now, which is this deck here. And we'll go to the outside edge. We're going to add some stairs again. So from the outside corners, you're going to count to the sixth block in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and remove two white blocks and two slabs like that, and then replace with stairs going down like so, looking like that. And then the banisters either side, two up, two up, and that's it really. So two up and two up. And add one underneath as well for support, like that. And there you go, there's that uh, staircase there. And you can add a couple of extra white blocks either side as well. So it looks something like that. And then we do the same the other side. So sixth in, one, two, three, four, five, six. Remove two white blocks, two slabs, and replace with our stairs going down like so. And then the banisters, two up, two up and one, two, two up, two up and one, and then a couple of blocks either side, like so. And there you go, there's those two staircases done. So bear with me while I just check my notes to make sure I'm doing this right. Right, so I think I'm doing this right. Uh, so what we want to do now is to add some vents, like the, the vents on the deck, um, on the top deck. We're going to go to the front, or go to the stairs, so either side, doesn't matter which side. We're going to count to the second block forward of the stairs. So the top of the stairs is here, and we're going to go to the third block forward. So one, two, three blocks forward, and we'll add our vent in there like so. It doesn't really matter which stair you go from, whether it's the one closest to the outside or one in from the outside, is up to you. As long as you put your vent there like that. So there's the cross. I'll do the same on the other side, just put the cross in. So third forward, one, two, three, and add our cross. Yeah, oh, sorry, built it in the wrong place. There we go. So there's our second vent. So build the vents up. So it's uh, three up, three up, three up, plus the two, and then the stairs, 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 stairs. Two forward, two forward, two forward, and up the front like so. And then the stairs, 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 stairs. Sort of like that. There we go. There's our vent there. And they do the same the other side. Build that one up. So two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, plus two. 
Head in the stairs like so. And then the front two, 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 plus up three on the front and one. Stairs, 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 stairs. There we go. There's our vents like that. Alright, so what we're going to do now is to add the mast. Now we go to the centre block of the very back end of the forecastle. So the forecastle ends on this line here, and the centre block is there. And on the wood, we're going to add our mast. So on that block there is where the mast is going to go. And I'm going to use a uh, yellow terracotta. I don't know if it's still called that in modern Minecraft, but there we go. So I replace that there with the mast. And the mast is basically up four rows of 15. So that's one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There we go. So there's our first mast in place. And then sixth down from the top, we add our spur. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Build out four. One, two, three, four. Same the other side. One, two, three, four. And that's our mast top there. And we go back down to the bottom now to add the uh, derricks and cranes. Uh, from the back, we're going to go up to the uh, fourth up on the back. So one, two, three, four. And then we're going to build back three. One, two, three. And then either side of that, diagonally out, you're going to build eight rows of three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. So there's eight rows of threes out there. Same the other side. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. And there we go. That's eight rows of three out like that. And then uh, two blocks up from that, so back to the mast, go two blocks up and build out one either side, like so, and then you're going to build straight forward uh, 29, so well, that's one so far, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, so that's that one there. Same the other side, 29. I don't need to uh, count it because it's the same as the other side. Like so, so that's 29 like that. So that's uh, that little job be done. And then what we do, go back to the mast and go two blocks up again. And we're going to build spurs of uh, we want six rows of four up. So I build up four, one, two, three, four. And then you want another five fours diagonally up so one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four and one two three four so there we are there's six rows of four in total like that so there's our mast looking like that and then for the crow's nest if you want to add this you can go roughly to the top of the second 15 go about four blocks down and we can add our crow's nest around that so build three blocks or five blocks around the edge like so so five around like that and then around the edge we'll add stairs like so and then add a wall around the edge and there we go there's our crow's nest kind of like a bathtub really and uh, that's the mast done um, what we want to do now is to have a think and go back down to the base of the mast because now it's time to add the breakwater. So the mast is done, crow's nest is done, we need to add the breakwater. So go back to the mast, and we're going to count to the 14th block forward. So that's 1, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14th block forward, we build a breakwater, which is 7 wide. So that's 1. And you're gonna to have to cut the deck as well. So cut the deck seven as well. So cut a hole, cut a hole first. So there's the first hole there, and cut it seven wide. So that's one plus three either side, and then build breakwater up uh, to how high is it? I think it's too high. So put it too high, like so, or one and a half basically, because half of it is sunk inside the uh, the deck. And then for the sides of the breakwater, you just want to build out diagonally out to the side. So cut the first three sections like so 
and build the first three two blocks high like that and then the rest out to the side are single blocks going out to the side like so and there you go there's those ones there and the purpose of a break water is when a wave comes over the top of the bow the water will hit this and be diverted out the side of the uh, of the bow primitive design but uh, I think it worked and then just do the same the other side so three blocks out two blocks high and then the rest are single blocks going out to the side like that and there you go there's the first break water like so now what we want to do is go to the center of the break water and go forward uh, to the eleventh block so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then in black preferably black concrete but whatever you can use we're going to build the mech which is a series of black blocks so build a line of three on the center plus three on the other side like that and then a line of five across the center like so now basically the purpose of these is it connects all the the rigging system to uh and the pulleys and things to the uh to the ship or to the mast basically so that's the purpose of that that's, be that's all the, that's the best detail or best design i can come up with so that's that that's our mech um and then we want to go to I'm trying to work out what goes next. Oh, another breakwater. So go one block forward of the break of the mech, and we're going to add our breakwater, which is uh, five wide. So one, two, three, four, five, like that. And then you're going to build uh, side to three. So build three forward. So one, two, three. And we're going to have to cut into the deck for this one. So one, two, three, like that. Three like that. And then across the front, like so. And then for the front of it, build it three high, or the back, yeah, the front of it, build three high like so. And then for other, for the other side, you build uh, three, build one block on the side three, and then the other side one, and then th two there and one, and then add stairs to create a sort of half pyramid design. Oh damn it! So along the top, like that, and you just build sort of like a half triangle design, like that. So it looks like that. So it's sort of four side, four on the side. And then so it's four, three, two, and those two blocks are trying uh, stairs. So it's that design like that. And then from the front of the uh, breakwater, we're going to build out or cut a hole, basically two high, two high, and then diagonally out to the side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, out like that. So it's another breakwater like the not like the front one or the the other one at the back there, but this time it's got a bit of a deck house to it. So just. Uh, Cut our uh, bits in there and then diagonally out to the side like that and there we go that's that deck house done well break water and then we've got the anchor chains coming up next so we're going to leave uh, a two block gap from the front of break water go two blocks forward or three blocks forward sorry so one two three like that and then one to the side and we're going to cut a hole 10 blocks long so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then replace with black blocks like so so it's ten long like that and do the same the other side so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten replace with the black like so and then for the chains what I normally use is uh, stone brick stairs now these are well the crappiest of design basically but for the chain links you put a stair block every two blocks facing one direction and then every two blocks facing the other direction so do the same the other side and it is a very vague design but uh, you sort of make up as you go along you don't have to use this design it's just something that I do and it's sort of from certain angles it does look like chain links but trust me <laughs> it's as far as chain links as you can get but uh, that's it so that's the chains there so they're 10 long like that and then lastly for the detailing I'm going to go and add a crane which is four blocks forward of the chain so one two three four and the crane arm is six high so one two three four five six or the crane body rather and then with slabs quartz slabs we're going to count or build second block or half a block down from the top we're going to build out build back seven so one two three four five six seven 
like that and then one back from the end just build diagonally down with the stairs going down to the base of the crane and there you go there's the crane arm and body and it should look something like that nothing special <clears throat> but it will do and that pardon me that is the uh, pretty much the forecastle detail done we can add the handrails now now what I normally do with the handrails is uh, let me get our handrails first where are our handrails there are handrails so what I normally do with the handrails is start filling them in from the from the tip of the well not from the tip of the bow but from say uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine on the tenth block back we'll start with our handrails and what you're going to need to do is put a white block in each corner where the uh, each section connects otherwise the handrails are going to either be floating in midair or connecting to wood blocks so handrails go in like that and then you can sort of double them up when they go down a block and then uh, handrails if you're familiar with my builds you know what I'm going to be doing here so where the handrails are over wood blocks I replace the wood block with a white block and then the stairs uh, the handrails can attach neatly then so I'm going to build the handrails going all the way back to the back end of the forecastle and then across the back of the forecastle and just get these uh, handrails in first and there we go up to the back of the forecastle and then across the back up to the stairs and then across to the mast and then out to the other side so I just quickly get this done and then up the other side like so and then up Apologies for taking my time. I want to make sure I do this right, otherwise you'll moan and complain. Can't please everyone. Is that far enough? Yep, yeah, that's fine. So anyway, there's all the handrails in place on the forecastle, and it uh, don't look too bad. So one more job to do really is to add the ha uh, not handrails, add the uh, bollards, which are anvils basically. So you want to. I'm going to want three pairs of these, so we'll go uh, on the side of the ship, roughly along alongside the uh, chains. So we'll put a pair of anvils there, like that, and then roughly just behind the first uh, breakwater, put another pair there, and then just behind the last breakwater, put another pair there. So those are our bollards. So do the same the other side. Put bollards there, and then our bollards just there. And then our last ballards just after the last breakwater. I can't see where I put them because the thing's in the way. Oh, yeah. So just by the breakwater, just there. There we go. There's our folks all done. And the ship don't look too bad, do it? It's got quite a bit of detail going on. So, um, there. I should be taking shape. So, um, yeah, that's really, I think that's all I'm going to do for today. I think we're sort of wasted, well, wasted about 20 minutes of our time doing this. Um, looking on the prototype there are a couple of skylights which I've left out so I think we can add those so in this space between uh, the two breakwaters uh, in any way you like as long as they're in the same place on both sides we just add uh, actually you have to cut a hole first so if we add if we cut a hole three long and then two blocks wide like that and then build it two high or one and a half high really and then we use our quartz stairs again wherever they are there and just build, build along the top like so and uh, it don't look too bad so it's that's that's one skylight and this is uh, one two third fourth block in from the side uh, and one back from or one two three fourth back from the ballad so just do the same the other side so one two three four and one two three four in was four in one now, I can't remember. Yep, that's fine. So just build the other skylight in place. And then our stairs. Like so, and there we are, there's our skylights done. And uh, that is the folks all done. So I'm not gonna do no more there. Then uh 
Yeah, I think we've done all right. I mean, it don't look too bad. We've got all the funnels in place, got all the vents in place, got the folks all in place, the forward mast in place. I think we could probably do only need one more video. That'll be for the stern deck house and the lifeboats, really, aren't we? And the last mast. And uh, I think we can call it a day after that. But I'm going to call it a day now anyway for uh, part four because uh, it's a fairly simple build and uh, yeah, it's quite a good one that. So like I say, we're going to call it a day now and uh, we shall come back in part five, I think it is. So thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for commenting. And if you consider becoming a patron, then at least then I'll have a reason for doing this because uh, YouTube keeps squeezing my pips and uh, not giving me any money. So uh, yes, uh, things are a bit uh, strained at the moment. But as uh, with everyone at the moment uh, in the current crisis, stay safe, look after yourselves and uh, keep isolated if you can. And I shall... Uh, leave you until the next video so I shall return in part five so uh yep bye for now